Colorado's best. I'm Joanna Canals. Ken Clark will join me in just a minute. Uh, every week we're joined by Phil Harding, who is going to be talking about a real issue in Denver scooters this week uh, in Denver, and that's scooters. I'm sorry. And every that. week. I read that wrong. That, yep. Now we're going to talk about it today, and I think it's very timely because scooters are everywhere. They're all the rage, and so you're going to talk about some legalities around them. You've, uh, you know, there's a bunch to talk about on this side. And we're going to go over both issues. We're going to talk about if you're on a scooter and you've been injured or if you're driving a car and you injure someone. Okay, let's start off with a car running into a scooter and the person on the scooter is injured. Okay, so your car insurance covers you. Um, it doesn't matter if you run into another car or a bicyclist or a pedestrian. You are covered. But here's the thing that I want people to stay away from and be aware of. State minimums in Colorado are only $25,000. So pull out your insurance policy. It's called a deck page. Uh, if it says $25,000, get some more. Because if some, you run into someone on a scooter, they're going to go in the hospital. And that, their bills are going to be more than $25,000. So just watch out for that $25,000 minimum limits. So even if you have car insurance, you still might have to pay money if you hurt someone on a scooter? Exactly. So wow. if you have the 25000 state minimum and the person, let's say, has 40000 in medical bills, you may have to pay that additional 15000 And then you still have pain and suffering if they have permanent disfigurement. Here's the easiest thing to do. Go and talk to your insurance agent because if you have car insurance and renter's insurance with the same agency or even homeowner's insurance, you can get this thing called an umbrella. And it costs generally about 400 bucks, and that adds a million dollars of additional coverage on. It's super cheap, and the reason why it's super cheap is because the people that are responsible and get an umbrella never use the umbrella. So get that mm -hmm. million dollars of additional coverage. Yeah, it's good to be covered. So what if you are on the scooter and you get hurt? All right, let's look at it from the other way. You're on a scooter, a bike run, you know, a car runs into you. You need to watch. Remember, first of all, in Colorado, one out of six people driving on the road today has no insurance at all. Mm -hmm. After that, we just talked about it. State minimums are 25,000. So you can do something. It's called stacking of insurance. And let's look at this and let's talk about stacking. First of all, if someone borrowed someone's car and ran into you, there's two levels. You first look to the owner of the car. Then you look to the driver of the car. And generally, they're the same people. But if the driver of the car, and that's not his car, his insurance. And I know he wasn't driving his car. His insurance follows him. So that's important to know. Also, if you have car insurance, you have something that's known as uninsured, underinsured. So after you stack those two levels, if there's still not enough to cover you, your own uninsured, underinsured covers you. And look, I know you're not in your car, mm -hmm. but your car insurance follows you, whether you're a pedestrian, a bike. But if you're injured by a car, this uninsured, underinsured follows you, and you can get more money that way. Okay, so here's another, I guess, the last scenario we're talking about. What if you are on a scooter and you run into someone and it's your fault? That's the scary thing. And I called and talked to different insurance companies um, and underwriters, uh, even adjusters. Uh, this morning I was talking to them. And you are not covered. Unless you have motorcycle insurance, you're not covered. Generally, th people might think my renter's insurance or my homeowner's insurance covers me. Probably not. Read wow. your policy. It, it will exclude motor vehicles. It'll say, if you're on a motorized vehicle, you're not covered. So now you go to your car insurance. You do that analysis. If you look at it, it is going to, to define a motorized vehicle as something with four wheels, right? Mm -hmm. And it needs to be listed. So if you're on a scooter and you run into another pedestrian, you run into a car, you run into a bike, you may not be covered. So uh, if you do want to be covered, first of all, there's like third-party insurance that you can get online. Watch out for that. Again, stay away from the $25,000 on that. Um, if you have motorcycle insurance, then generally that may have coverage. Or the best thing, call your insurance agent. They don't charge you to come in and say, what do I have? I ride scooters all the time. What could, you know, how can I be covered? So you recommend that for people who ride scooters on a consistent basis, especially? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Make sure that you're covered. It's, uh, you could be writing a huge check. 
don't want to do that. So if you have a question for our legal expert, go to kwgn.com, click on Colorado's Best. You're going to see Phil Harding's photo on the right. Just click there, send in your questions, and he will answer each question personally and confidentially. And to reach Harding and Associates directly, call 303-762-9500. You can also get a free consultation anytime, and you can find him online at hlaw.org.